Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Art, and welcome back to another video. And uh, today we are going to be playing a Wayfinder. Just released, just waited an hour in uh, the queue. That was fun. Let's get on with it. Take the shard. I remember. I am Nis, the Blade of Shadows. Fair enough. My people are the Deep Elden, ancient and wise, forgotten by the world above. But they have been lured down a dark path by treacherous spirits. When my clan refused to kneel, our people turned against us. Only I survived. Now this darkness is swallowing the world, but it cannot conquer me. I am the Blade of Shadows, and I will bring death to false gods who have broken this world. Well, we shall see about that, shan't we? Praise the Architects. I thought we'd lost you. We need to get you back to Skylight. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as best I can. Let's do that. Stamina. Oh, let me guess. I've got to jump. For every fourth second, the attack is a heavy attack. All right, okay. Ah, there we are. Get more info. Uh, another dash. Uh, umbral aura. And this is empowered by umbral magic, causing her next three dodges to pierce the nearby enemy or shadow nearby enemy. Throws a powerful one dodge. Vengeful shadow. Shade. Shade. Sorry. Shade. That's what I meant. Yeah, and then uh, 10 seconds you need to pass. I'll learn them all later. Doesn't matter right now.
I'm going to start with this, I think. See how it goes. Come on, then. Loading. Loading. The loot of items. I think we can get this just looking around town. Then we have much to discuss. I don't speak of the origins. I don't know if they were constructed as they are or their fall. It is so good to see you again. I thought we'd lost you forever. Your omen. I remember a battle. Don't worry. Your memories will return in time. Will they? That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. But its power protects this city. It destroyed our enemies and stopped the Gloom Tear from expanding. We couldn't close the Gloom Gate. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. And in the year that followed, we've studied it. Learned more about this Gloom. Learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need wayfinders. We need you. Better enough. <clears throat> sacrifice and that of the others bought me the time I needed to light the beacon and the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay it's the only reason we're alive we still don't know a year ago the Eldrin attacked us and extinguished the beacon and it was then that the gloom began to spread it corrupts and consumes reality the beacon protects us but beyond its light the gloom has swallowed the world leaving only shadows and chaos. We don't know if anyone else has survived. That's why we need you. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With the tools you've been given, you can cut through its shadows. You must be a wayfinder. We still know so little about the gloom, and so much of the world has been lost to it. We need you to enter the Lost Zones, to find a path through the shadows. You've been through an ordeal. I shouldn't burden you with this now. It's best you see what's left of Skylight and meet other seekers. You were a seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the Gloomfall, we investigated ancient mysteries. 
Now it's the Seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again after you've met with him and Lord Halar. Yay! with your presence I fought the Eldrin during the attack just as you did but it was your sacrifice that saved Skylight Wolf before the fall I was an officer of the Avar Imperium now I command our forces such as they are there are all too many threats shrikes breaches but you'll see for yourself soon enough we will have much to discuss in the days ahead and we'll have quarters for you soon enough much of Skylight was devastated in the attack. The builders are working as quickly as they can. You have more important work ahead of you. But for now, find Lord Halar outside of the Great Hall. He'll get you ready for the tasks that lie ahead. Alright, just going around talking to people. What to do? The new Wayfinder. Delightful. Delightful. I am Lord Halar. As you know, my lands and the Dominion itself have been swallowed by the gloom. But even now, especially now, names matter. I lead the Arcanists among the Seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight. But it is my studies of the gloom that can help you. Not my knowledge of arcanic illumination. What we know for certain is that the gloom alters flora and fauna, and never for the better. Where it lingers, it can consume entire regions, leaving only shadows in the gloom. What we call lost zones. You were consumed by the gloom, but you survived. Now you have the power to shape it, to some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. Only a Wayfinder can enter a lost zone. But this is just a glimmer of your full potential. If you can enforce your will upon the gloom, perhaps one day we can undo the damage that has been done. But I can only tell you of the gloom. Omen can show you. Return to her, near the gloom gate, Wayfinder. She will guide you in the next steps of your journey. Oh, oh yeah. You've spoken with Wolf and Lord Halar. I am sure you have many questions. Um, when do I start attacking people? Experience it for yourself. The gloom is consuming our world. Our beacon holds it at bay. But much was lost before it was lit. Beyond Skylight, you will find breaches where the gloom has ripped away pieces of our world. Using the Focusing Shard, you can pass through breaches to reach a shadow of what was lost, what we call Lost Zones. These are unstable and unpredictable, reflecting what was or what might have been. We're running out of time. The gloom is breaking down our defenses, and we don't know how to stop it. We need you to explore the Lost Zones, to find a way to fight the gloom and reclaim our world. We do know the large gate behind me is the key. In theory, you can reach any Lost Zone through this gate. In practice, there are limitations. Usually, you must find and enter a breach directly to access a Lost Zone for the first time. After that, you can access it in any other breach you found through this gate. But you can't just stumble into a breach. You need a connection to the Lost Zone to guide you through it. This might mean finding an object from the zone or experiencing an event tied to it. For now, I have a single connection I can share with you. The Codex Halls of Aurelian. There. Go to the gate. 
Follow the connection I have given you and return to the gloom. The shard you've been using is an incomplete tool. Find a Codex Ember in the gloom. Then we can transform your focusing shard into a full gloom dagger, allowing you to harness your full potential. Cool. All right. Quest. Character. Oh, look. Loadout menu. I know what a loadout menu is. Don't have a link there. Link there. Nothing there. Customize. So no. Uh, okay. Nothing there. Ooh, let's change up our character, shall we? Right, trim. Golden. Fly die ten times. Oh, nice. That looks all right. Gloom dagger, trinket. Loading art. Right. Uh, abilities. The drink got shadow step, dashing line, dealing damage along the way. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine. Go and do this. Travel beyond. Come on, loading. This is a lost zone. It's not a perfect replica of the world that was. It's a dream inspired by what was lost. When you return here again, everything, the layout, the creatures within it, may change. This lost zone is tied to Aurelian. A fortress monastery of the Avar Order of the Silver Codex. The Codex monks were conducting arcane research, and we need to know more about them. Aurelian was raised by raiders from the maze years before the Gloomfall. You'll need to establish your own connection to it. Yes. It was a miracle that we could pull you back to Skylight. But like your memories, some of your skills were lost. Don't worry. It will all come back to you in time. This connection I've provided is temporary and unpredictable. Look for a Codex Ember. With it, you can turn your shard into a full gloom dagger and establish your own connections. I can't guide you when you go deeper. To escape, you'll need to find the heart of this lost zone, the Anchor, and destroy it. This weakens the gloom and lets us harvest its energy through your shard. Explore as thoroughly as you can. We need the supplies and knowledge you may find, and exploration may grant you connection to other lost zones. Now go, and good luck. All right, <clears throat> let's just do it. Uh, waypoint. Yeah. Okay. Simple. Ah! Let's have a look for any treasures around. Oh. Expedition will kill enemy, complete offense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. No enemies.
Beat these manifestations of the gloom and open a way forward, but it will also create the power of all remaining creatures and loss. So, bring on. Bring them on. I don't mind. Go for the green gloop. I need. Damn you. Die. Where did that little one go? Is he dead? I believe so. Jelly monsters. Matt could do with zooming a bit out. I wonder if I can change that. Oh, no, no. What was that at the top? <laughs> that key for. It's something I haven't been concentrating on. these first before I hit that because I don't know if I'll have another opportunity what is this something new I hear an echo in the darkness you have promised yes but you don't have what I need not yet. Go ahead. Run along home. I'll be watching you, Wayfinder. Okay. <coughs> that went well. Loading sometime soon, are we? Cool. Uh, teleporters. Right. Lord Hala. Welcome back, Wayfinder. I was sure you'd find your way. And with an ember. Good, good. Let's get to work. The Silver Codex studied ways to manipulate arcane energies. We can use the ember you recovered from Aurelian to create your Gloom Dagger and to establish your own connection to the ruins. You see, the shard you claimed in the Gloom is a rough and imperfect tool. You need to make it a true extension of yourself, a blade that can cut through reality. Use the Echo Matrix to combine the Ember and the Shard. Visualize the shape of your dagger. You can draw on the threads of the gloom and make your vision real. Try it. Use Echo Matrix. Okay. Done.
Uh, not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. What do I want? I want that. What does that do? Ability power. <laughs> Might as well put that in. Little artifacts. And then we got to put into there. Perfectly done. Woven from the pure elements of magic and drawn into reality. Now you have what you need to explore lost zones on your own. Let's review that procedure. To reach a lost zone, you need three things. A breach that serves as an entrance, a gloom dagger that can cut a path through the shadows, and a connection to the place consumed by the gloom. A connection can take the form of an object, such as the ember now bound to your dagger, or something more abstract, such as a memory or experience. You now have a gloom dagger, and through the ember you have a connection to the Codex Hall. So, what is it you are missing, Wayfinder? Have you been listening? Yes, just sort of. I've been kind of listening. Need to find the point at which this area collapsed, you must search the highlands for a sheet of gloom energy, a hole in the world. Once you've found it, use your dagger to carve a path, explore what lies beyond, and destroy the anchor of that shadow. Thereafter, you will be able to reach Aurelian through the Gloom Gate here. <coughs> Your Gloom Dagger is connected to the Beacon of Skylight. Aside from being an invaluable tool for exploring the Gloom, it also allows us to communicate through the Link. A voice in the Gloom? No, that wasn't me. I warned you that the connection would be unstable. Remain alert, but I'm sure it was just some manifestation of the chaos. Lord Halar and I spent much of this last year refining the daggers as we sought to retrieve you from the gloom. As for the shards, that's a tale for another time. But now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls. We need to know more about the work of the Silver Codex. Do we? I always thought there were peaceful, devoted sages. Now, I'm not so sure. Our work suggests they were experimenting with a sinister force that may have been the Gloom, decades before the Gloomfall. This work could help us push back the Gloom, or reconnect our world. As Lord Halar has told you, you must first find the breach tied to the Codex Halls out in the wider world. And that means leaving the safety of Skylight. Before you leave Skylight, I need you to bind your dagger to the signal fires here. This will strengthen your connection to the beacon and help you move quickly across the region. Once that's done, take the lift down to the highlands and find Warden Haas. She's in charge of our defenses. I will offer guidance when I can. Okay. Boy. Already got that one, so... We shall rush on through, shall we? Oh, there's no one up here. You want to grab that one as well? Now to take the lift. Yes, we shall travel to the Highlands. Let's get some uh, more action going, shall we? My mouth's gone. I don't know.
Alright, let's get going. Can I not use that one? Why not? Well met, Wayfinder. Welcome back to the world. What's left of it? It's an ugly business. We're fighting the Shrikes for resources. On our Shrikes. You've got feral beasts and gloom spawned monsters. You'll find out soon enough, I fear. Brigands and looters. Some of them half feral from drinking God's blood. And Sounds good. Darkness. Dangerous is what. Like a Saturday night. But what's your business here? Looking for the breach. I'm no wayfinder, but I know it. Head out past the foundry and through the ruined gate walls. Once you get to the swamp, look for the large gnarled tree and weathered steps. Be sure to bind your dagger to the signal fire here. You'll find them across the highlands. Never miss an opportunity to forge a connection. Again, I'm no wayfinder. Mm. I've heard they're connected to the beacon, and each connection strengthens it. Uh, yes, we know. On your way then. But Skylight needs support. Yeah, blah blah blah. As a wayfinder, you will My God! Are the path of the gloom. But you possess powers and skills beyond those of the watchers and rangers. And we must all stand together if any of us are to survive. Many will ask for your help. Yeah. Right now, I need you to return to the codex. Do side quests. Blah blah blah. Uh, bandits. Kill shrinks in lower light of skylights. Okay, I could do that. Lined up. Attack me and stop running away all the time. It's highly annoying. The enemies keep running away from. Them. Good, I've done that mission. I don't think that fire is supposed to be floating like that. Come on, don't fail me now. Bell. Doesn't do anything. Right. 
Need to get up there. Oh. The Codex Halls. expedition discovered unnatural deadly spiders in the shadows of Aurelian. Lord Halar believes these aren't spontaneous creations of the gloom. They're tied to the Silver Codex's work. Are they now? Did the Codex somehow harness the gloom decades before the fall and use it to cause mutations? We need answers. Search for spiders and see what you can find. You aren't the only wayfinder. You'll meet the others eventually. <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't actually know what I did yet, so. I shall leave it. Well, I know what it does, but. Match making off. Recommended power 96, and we are on 261. We should, hopefully, be all right. He says. Waiting for server. This might take a while. We shall wait and see, though. I thought it nearly crashed then for a second. Like, no! I don't want to wait another hour. Well, we're in, but my game. What the... For some reason, it clicked out of the game. That was annoying. So, uh, anyway, we're back in. There's another teleport just right around the corner. Deal with the top first. chest. Not quite the chest I wanted. Uh, where do I go? There's another treasure up there. Well, I've fallen down now.
There we go. So I can't get in there yet. Line the orbs to open the... Okay, I, uh... Oh, well, absolutely never in that room. Let's go now, sir. Then I need a top one. This one's like slightly out or something. Nope, shiny thing, nothing. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I can't do anything to my character while you're in dungeons. Right, let's go and continue on to the next place. Because you're still showing? Guessing not. Jelly people! Go away. Go away, jelly man. That was close. Ow, ow. All these treasures they are all mine nobody will take them they're not playing with anybody I am a court the lone wolf How was that noise? Sound like an enemy.
Before we leave, let's go and check out the other rooms. Nothing of interest there, or nothing of interest here. Back up. Oh. And now we get down here. Really missed you. Can't be having that. I'm gonna check out this way first. Ow. Wait. Heaven's sakes. Ah, missed me that time. What's behind this door? That. And this. And a chest. And another chest. Oh, you're still alive. Uh, let's finish down here. Don't forget to miss the important quest item. Both grow stronger.
Oh, I thought my boundary break it then. Boundary break out of bounds, whatever. Something along those lines. I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Keep getting to use my ultra, but oh well. Doesn't matter too much. Whee! Items. So yeah, I'm having a bit of fun, all right, so far. It isn't too bad. Come on. Right, so <laughs> not anything new we can put into higher. Max health. Ooh, that ain't too bad. Then we put that on. And then in the third slot. 135. Assembly. Cool. I've still got only those daggers. Right. And abilities. Right, what do we want? Umbral Aura. Nissa is empowered by Umbral Magic, causing her next three dodges to pit a nearby enemy with shadow. Nearby allies are also empowered for one dodge. Briefly become immune to attacks or damage enemies around Nis. Uh, slam it down. That might be quite good to do. Rather than that one. Go for this one. Cool. Uh. Back on the styles. I have no style. Okay, so that was a bit of a wayfinder. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have been Dark Wolf Up, and I will see you again. Goodbye.